Alrighty, I'm very behind on this, I know, but we got ourselves Death Battle, Gogeta versus Vegito. I've been wanting to check this out. I've already saw the analytics, and the person I am rooting for in this death battle would have to be Vegito. Reason being is because I thought it was like the. I'll, I'll give my explanation after. I think it's just a longer time span for the fusion to last. That's what it really comes down to. And here we go. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. Hear my wish, Eternal Dragon. It's time for a death battle. Okay. Let's check this out. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that looks good. What is this madness? Whoa, Vegeta. Am I really that much taller than you? Stuff it, Kakarot. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Who is that voice? Does it say in the description? Who's voicing who? I gotta know. Let's uh, say. No. I think it. I don't know. Nice. Nice. Go! Oh. Let's go. Let's see. Shenron's still there? Yeah. Sick. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Vegito. Woo! We're flying around Shenron. Oh. Transmission. Oh, nice. You just brought it back. Where are they going? Not bad. Oh, one blue. Kick it up a notch? Sure. But how about some variety? <laughs> oh, it's switching, uh, switching up to Super Saiyan 4 versus blue. <laughs> nice. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm very curious how far it will go. Sick. Damn. Are they in other world? Yeah, what the heck? My turn. Got this kill. Ah, he goes blue. Sick. Damn! That looks sick, the animation on that. Oh, did you do Dragon Fist? I don't know, what do you did? <laughs> They're at the island, what? I do what place. Dude, this is sick. Oh my gosh. Alright. <laughs> gotcha! Damn! Now they're in the hyperbole time chamber? What is happening? I guess it's now or never. Oh. oh, but that only kills evil though, right? That's only stronger against evil? Vegeta won! Hell yeah, that was awesome. Damn! Oh, man, that was epic! Totally that was. worth the wish. Oh, I guess we probably could have solved a lot of world problems with that. Uh, I suppose <laughs> world domination can wait another year. This fight was incredibly close. Nope, seriously, how could yeah. it not be? They're almost exactly yeah, the same basically. person. With a few minor differences here and there, like signature attacks. Neither Vegito nor Gogeta had one single power that provided an absolute edge over the other. Except okay. perhaps Vegito's longer time limit. Though yeah, that's so what I had cut. a feeling. Both have overtaxed their energy quick enough to end their fusions in less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Time isn't the only factor, but also whatever is maintaining each fusion. 
Gogeta's body, and Vegito's earrings. It's possible Vegito's power can actually drain the Patara faster than Gogeta's does his own body. Still, it's twice the time, and that definitely gave Vegito yeah. more flexibility and strategy. So more often than not, it's safe to say Gogeta would run out of juice first. Also, when Vegeta or Gogeta diffuse from power overuse, it's typically difficult for them to immediately fuse again due to that lack of energy. But Vegito had another one over Gogeta. No matter what, he'd always have a very slight power advantage. Remember how the fusion dance requires the fusers to match their power levels? Yeah. Well, the Patara don't need that. Goku yeah, doesn't, doesn't need to match Vegito's slightly lower power levels, so there's nothing stopping Vegito from combining the full sum of their parts. Ah, oh, poor Vegeta. Yeah. You'll get your day in the sun one you day, will one buddy. day, man. Oh, who am I kidding? This might be what Old Kai was referring it. to when he said the Patara had a greater effect. But hey, could Gogeta have destroyed the earrings? Nope, he would have had to be able to overpower Vegito first, yeah. like how Goku could only destroy Kefla's earrings after he reached Ultra Instinct. Remember, yeah. when comparing levels of power in Dragon Ball, the greater one can overrule almost anything the weaker one does. The earrings likely tend to be protected by the user's key aura, similar yeah, to the clothing. The only time we've ever seen Patara damaged or specifically targeted are when the wearer is overwhelmed or in a vulnerable state. Okay. If yeah, any yeah. stray key that blast could destroy them, we'd have a lot more broken earrings by now. Lastly, there's some debate over their personalities. In their first appearances, Vegito seemed rather cocky and playful against Boo, whereas okay. Gogeta was far more deliberate against Janemba, and thus far more successful. However, okay. these are not core personality traits, and assuming so would be inconsistent with Vegito's serious fight with Zamasu and Gogeta's more brash fights with Broly and Omega Shenron. Context is key. As far as okay. personality and mental ability goes, Gogeta and Vegito are practically identical. Yeah, in the I mean, end, Vegito's higher power level, no matter how slight it was, made a big difference in protecting and maintaining his longer, more flexible time limit. Gogeta yeah. was gonna need meta more than that to beat Vegito. Sorry, Wiz, I know that pun was potarable. Wait, shut up. Earth's Dragon Balls give two wishes, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Shinron, I wish for you to fuse me and Wiz. Oh, oh my oh. god. The winner is Vegito. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and doubly thanks oh, to our channel members for supporting good. us this year. Hope you've been enjoying the extra perks and content. We've got a bunch of new stuff in the works for you. If you aren't a champion, click that join button and give it a shot. Also, Season 10 of Death Battle is coming soon, including two matchups chosen by our champions. Let's see what you picked. Okay. Miss the ability. Okay. 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 Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so I was I was trying to think of a quicker way to say it in the beginning of the video. I I was rooting for Vegito because in the analytics they pointed out that Vegito, the fusion with the Patara is actually an hour fusion length. But it could get dragged down to like 40 minutes or so because of how much energy uh, Vegito could burn out or just the fusion with the Patara in general. The fusion dance is technically only half an hour, but that energy could also get burnt out depending on how much you throw out your energy out. So it's like regardless, the Patara has an extended a little bit more time than the fusion dance. And I feel like that's where the advantage came from because they're basically both technically the same. You know, they're both technically the same, uh, but it's just one has a longer time limit than the other. And that's where the Batara fusion has the advantage. And that's what, basically what they went with. Other than the whole fusion dance is that Goku brought up that the, you have, that the, the people doing the dance, they have to make sure their power levels are equal in order for the fusion to be complete, to be successful. You know, they, that was like a flaw, one of the flaws in the fusion dance compared to the Batara. But other than that, I feel like the fusion or the fusion with the Patara, you know, aka Vegito, was stronger. Uh, that's what I thought, and that's what what was the outcome. And I'm I'm cool with that. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below why you think Vegito should have won, or why Gogeta should have won against Vegito. I'm very curious to hear you guys' thoughts. And let me know in the comments down below. And uh, again, love Death Battle, absolutely great. Um, so let me know more in the future of what specific death battles you'd like to see me react to. Looking forward to the new season when it comes out. I uh, look forward to reacting more to the battle. I really missed it. So right over here will be a link to all the death battle videos we've reacted to so far. Right over here will be my recommended video.